Hi everybody, I'm Mike Staver. This is Money's with Mike, a weekly video series where I answer questions from people just like you. This is a great question this week. They're, they're all good. I mean, I, you know, I'm not a favorite person, but this is really good. Dear Mike, I have a top producer that is crazy. Listen to this. No, 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 no. You don't understand. She's extremely crazy, but she delivers outstanding results. My other employees want me to get rid of her now, but I, right, get rid of her right now, but I'm having a hard time thinking about the loss in sales revenue and productivity that I would experience if I fire her. What is the best way to handle this? I have a top producer that's crazy. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't understand. She's extremely crazy, but she delivers outstanding results. Are you kidding me? If she's that crazy, then I don't care what her results are. She's going to eat the inside of your company uh, for lunch. If you're, if you're saying to me, no, 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 I don't mean like sort of crazy. She's extremely crazy then my guess is that you're enabling a behavior. Now, I don't know what kind of crazy behavior she's engaging in. I mean, I hope it's not like psychotic, like she's scratching your car or leaving rabbits on your stove. But uh, you gotta assess two things. You gotta assess the results versus the cultural fit. If your employees have a, are asking you to get rid of her and they know she's producing results, then I think you get to have the conversation about how you're gonna get better results if she goes. Keep in mind, it's a matrix, right? Over here is cultural fit. Over here is results. You have a person in the upper, uh, excuse me, over here is results. Over here is cultural fit. So you have no cultural fit, but extremely high results. That upper left-hand quadrant will ultimately hurt your company because you're going to lose some other good employees if you keep this up because it enables bad behavior. At some point, you just got to say, you're out. You're done. I'm not going to put up with this crazy behavior. So before you do that, Talk to her about it. Obviously, you don't call it crazy behavior, but identify the specific behaviors that are unacceptable. Uh, outline the specific cultural behaviors that she must engage in in order to stay. And if she can't do it, let her go. I promise you, your business will be better. You will find somebody else to produce those results. I have done it in my career. Years and years ago, I had a salesperson who was not crazy, but just a jerk. My top producer, I had to let go of them. It hurt like crazy for four or five months, but the company rallied around and they produced more. So be very, very careful about enabling behavior for money. You're basically selling your soul of your culture for money. And I don't think that's a good idea. Outline expectations. Hold this person rigorously accountable. If they don't improve, it's time to let them go. I'm Mike Staver. This is Muddies with Mike. Take care, everybody.